Miss Wendy here with the Fairfield Public Library with another DIY video. Today we are going to be making a jack-o-lantern out of a few simple items. A full sheet of orange construction paper, a smaller sheet of yellow construction paper, a green chenille stem and a brown chenille stem, glue dots, and a battery-operated tea light candle. You'll also need some additional items a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. First, we're going to start with our orange piece of construction paper. We're going to fold it in half the long way, lining up the edges as best you can. Next, we'll open it up and cut along this line. Put one piece aside. Next, we will fold in half. Open up your paper and fold this edge to the center line that you just made. And now fold this line to the center line that you just made. Okay, you can open up that side. If, and now, this is the center line still. Fold this edge to the center line. And fold this edge to the center line. Now you have lines to cut some strips. So cut along each of these lines so you will have eight strips when you're done cutting. Eight strips. All right, now grab the other sheet and with your candle as a template, make four circles. One, All right, and you can save this piece for another project. And now cut these circles out. Nice job. All right, so now we have four circles and eight strips. And what we're going to do is go ahead and take one of the circles and start to assemble our pumpkin. So put some glue on one of the circles and put a strip of paper across. So you're going to want to put it not all the way on the paper, just about on the right edge of the paper. And take one more strip and put it on the other side. Now put a little more glue on top of those strips Put another strip so that you now have like an upside down T and now put the other one right across from there. Nice. Now we are going to put some more glue and we're going to fill in these spots. Okay, so we're going to like make an X. Add some glue. And there we are. So it looks like an asterisk now. An asterisk. All right, we're gonna take another circle, put some glue on the circle so we know that we're getting all the spots we need to get. 
and glue that down. That's going to be the space for your candle if you decide to put it in. Now we are going to take our other circle and put some glue on it. Now we're going to bring each one of these up to that circle. See how it is making a little circle? See that? And we can put some more glue on. So now we're going to do these two. And you might have to hold it in place just a little bit until it adheres. Put some glue on the end of the paper to make sure it sticks. And some more glue. And hold it for a minute and make sure it sticks. Your fingers might get a little sticky too. And now these final two. And I'm going to put the glue on the edge of the paper on each side. And bring those up and together. Hold the inside so that you can make sure that those adhere. Gets a little tricky, especially if your fingers are full of glue. Now, glue this circle. right on top and hold that on so you're putting your fingers through holding this on all right so we're going to put our pumpkin aside for a minute and we're going to grab our brown and green chenille stems and our pencil wrap your chenille stem around the brown one is going to you're going to try to get it pretty close if you can see pretty close here together that's going to be our stem so once you have done that just slide it off and take your green and do the same thing and just wrap it with the green one it doesn't have to be as close together this is going to be part of the vine all right and slide that off when you're done and now we're just going to slide the vine on to the stem so wherever there's an opening on the stem you can leave it just like that or you can kind of wrap it around. And there's your stem and your vine. We're going to adhere that to our pumpkin top with some glue dots. You probably only need one, but if you want to put a couple on, that's fine. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take our glue dot and put it on the chenille stem and peel it off making sure that the glue dot is on there and we can open this up and put a couple more on just to make sure that it's going to be nice and sticky and hold really well so there's your glue dots and now again put your finger in the pumpkin and put the chenille stems right on top so there is your pumpkin and your stem 
and you can leave it just like this if you want, or you can add a face to it with your yellow paper. So design an eyes, a nose, mouth, whatever you'd like with, with your yellow paper, and then glue them on to your pumpkin. So decide where you'd like your face, just as if it were a real pumpkin, and make some eyes, a nose, and a mouth. and then glue them on. And there's my pumpkin, my jack-o'-lantern. In order to put the candle on, you have to flip the switch so that it glows. And now squeeze your pumpkin down like that. Put your candle inside and stand it upright. And when you're ready to turn it off, squeeze it again, and carefully take your light out. Shut it off, and store it for next time. You can store it either inside or somewhere else. And there's your jack-o'-lantern. And as always, remember to clean up. Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed making your jack-o'-lantern. I hope to see you soon at the library or for another DIY craft. Please check our calendar for upcoming events. Have a great day and thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.